Hello, I'm Nick Brandon, Director of Communications for Plymouth Canton Community Schools. And I'm excited to talk about a unique partnership between Canton and the Detroit Institute of Arts. Canton Township is excited to once again partner with the DIA to welcome an inside-out installation to the community. This open-air gallery experience features 10 renowned artistic reproductions, which will be on display in Canton from late March until early July. This particular image is a digital reproduction of a masterwork from the collection at the Detroit Institute of Arts called Trapper's Return. This oil on canvas was painted in 1851 by the American artist George Caleb Bingham. The image depicts a French fur trapper and his son descending the Missouri River heading to St. Louis. River navigation on the Missouri River and others provided a means of transportation, commerce, and settlement of the interior of North America. The image presents an idealized version of westward expansion. Combining the elements of water, hazy morning light, rivermen, and their simple crafts, the image creates a sense of calm, showing man and nature as harmonious partners. The arrangement of the figures and the general mood invests them with a sense of timelessness. The artist was a member of the Whig Party, and his paintings of American life in the frontier lands exemplify the Luminist style. He was involved in politics in the post-Civil War years, and in 1874 was appointed the first police chief in Kansas City, Missouri. As an artist, he was left to languish in obscurity. However, his work was rediscovered in the 1930s, and by the time of his bicentennial in 2011, he was considered one of the greatest American painters of the 19th century. This peaceful and idyllic reproduction is currently on display near the Splash Playground at the Summit on the Park. The arts are alive in Canton. Be sure to catch a glimpse of this and the other nine amazing works of art now on exhibit before they're gone this summer. For more information, visit cantonfun.org.